Hello everyone. Recently, while talking with some respiratory care students on our social media respiratory care site, I was asked if I could talk a little bit about the difference between ventilation and respiration. Due to the recent COVID-19 pandemic, it seems there is much confusion on the exact definition of the two. Due to this confusion, I decided to make this short video in hopes to help people understand what ventilation and respiration really mean. Also, maybe to help understand a little bit what a ventilator is compared to a respirator. After all, how can anyone really understand anything, right, if they don't really know the true definition? So ventilation simply means to get the air in and out of your lungs, the actual mechanics of in and out. In is inhalation and out is exhalation. Respiration though is not quite so simple. Respiration actually takes place at the cellular level in the lungs. While inhalation gets the air in, respiration takes the oxygen from that air and gets it into the blood so it can be delivered to the body. The body uses the oxygen as energy in the cell level, but then it creates a waste, much like when we eat food. That waste has to get out of our body or it's toxic. So that waste is called carbon dioxide or CO2. It leaves the body through respiration going the other direction and then through ventilation by exhalating out of the body. During the coronavirus break, you may have heard that hospital and healthcare providers have faced a shortage of respirators and ventilators, two critical tools in fighting this infection. Now many of us know that both respirators and ventilators deal with breathing in and out in some way, but may be confused about the difference between them. Are they both just face masks? Are respirators and ventilators synonymous? Can they be used interchangeably? Medical terminology can be confusing and overwhelming, and especially these terms are, need to be in proper context during a crisis. So let's get to the bottom of these terms uh, so we understand what these two life-saving tools really are. What is a respirator? A respirator is a mask-like device, usually of gauze, worn around the mouth or the nose and the mouth, to prevent the inhalation of noxious substances or something like that. Health professionals wear respirators to filter out virus particles that they breathe in so they don't get infected, like in the COVID-19, while they're helping people and patients. The CDC specifically recommends health professionals using what are called N95 respirators. These type of respirators fit more tightly around the nose and mouth than the regular medical surgical mask. Another type of respirator known is a PAPR, short for Powered Air Purifying Respirators, which covers the whole head and uses a blower type device to filter the air. Respirators are a form of PPE, which just stands for personal protective equipment. Other types of PPE health professionals wear to protect them from such hazards as the COVID-19 include goggles, gloves, and even gowns. Now, what is a ventilator? Well, in medical context, a ventilator is a machine that helps a patient breathe. This machine pumps air in and out of the lungs. The air that is pumped into the lungs has oxygen in it, which can be set anywhere from 21%, which is like what we breathe normal room air, all the way up to 100%, which then that air becomes pure oxygen. The amount depends on the patient's needs at that time. The air pumped out of the lungs removes the carbon dioxide. The ventilator is connected to a tube called ET or endotracheal tube. This tube goes directly into the patient's lungs. The insertion of this tube into a person's windpipe or trachea is called an intubation. In healthcare settings, the verb ventilate is often referred to as oxygenating the blood. Also can be used as helping someone breathing, breathe through a mechanical ventilator. COVID-19 is a respira respiratory disease and it can cause lung inflammation or pneumonia which makes breathing difficulty for a lot of patients. That's why ventilations, ventilators are needed to help some patients with that infection. 
It was recently determined that the COVID-19 structure actually has sharp hooks on it, which can help it attach itself to the lining of the lungs. This can be very serious and can even cause death as we've all seen already, especially to the elderly or people with other underlying health conditions. I hope this video has helped clear up some of the misunderstanding about what is a ventilator and what is a respirator. I would also ask everyone to please adhere to the advice of the CDC and wash your hands thoroughly and please also keep your social distance of at least six feet from others and try to stay away from any crowds until this situation is resolved. It may take a little while, but I personally believe it will be resolved. Thanks for watching and may God bless you and keep you safe.